Greetings, you component collectors. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and welcome to the crack -a pack here on LRRMTG. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Today, we are checking out a theme booster from Innistrad Midnight Hunt, because I was unapologetically in a Walmart the other day and saw this there and thought, what is that? Because my LGS doesn't have these. Also, I haven't been in my LGS in months, so maybe they have these. But they've never had theme boosters before, and I still don't really sort of know what to expect from them. The very, very small print on the back says, includes one to two rare or mythics, 10% uh, chance of two, and 33 to 34 uncommon and common midnight hunt cards, 10% of packs contain a showcase card, full list of possible contents, magic.wizards.com slash product details. Also, because we're in Canada, there's a sticker that's been applied to it in French that uh, la chasse commence. Rehaussez votre deck grâce à 35 cartes d'Enestrade chasse de minuit dont au moins une carte rare ou mythique. So in the French sticker says you get one, but the pack says you could get two. So, the French are being misrepresented. Anyway, it's, I don't, I don't actually know how it's packaged on the inside. That's mostly why I'm curious, because it hangs like this on a peg in the store. But I don't know if there's just like, what, how it's packaged on the inside. Oh, weird, okay. So the top, <laughs> from here up, it's just spacing to make it look nicer and more impressive on the shelf. And then at the bottom of it, is the security and the actual there it is the actual booster is just is just this so theme booster blue i know that, that means that they're all going to be blue cards but i don't know sort of like it says 33 to 34 uncommon and commons and i don't know what that breakdown is but i guess we're going to find out first up storm i'm going to go through them fairly quickly by the way because there's 34 of them and I don't want to be here all afternoon. I mean, I'm going to be here all afternoon recording different episodes of this show, but I don't want to be doing this one all afternoon. Stormrider Spirit, four and a blue for a 3-3 Flash Flying Spirit. Very nice. Geist Wave, one and a blue. Instant, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. If you control that permanent, draw a card. Dissipate, so that's one uncommon so far. One blue, blue, instant, counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Devious Cover Up. Two blue blue instant counter target spell. If that spell was countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. You may shuffle up to four target cards from your graveyard into your library. We didn't get to do the devious cover up loop in Midnight Hunt to the same extent that we did when it was first printed in Ravnica City of Guilds. Not City of Guilds, Ravnica Allegiance? Guilds of Ravnica? One of the recent ones. It's either Guilds of Ravnica or Ravnica Allegiance. It doesn't really matter. Shipwreck Sifters is next. One in a blue for a 1-2 spirit. When they enter the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. And when you discard a spirit or a card with Disturb, you put a plus one plus one counter on Shipwreck Sifters. Nebelgast Intruder, two in a blue for a 2-1 spirit with flash and flying. When it enters the battlefield, up to one target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero until end of turn. Locked in the cemetery, one in a blue creature enchantment. If there's five or more cards in your graveyard, you get to tap the enchanted creature, and either way, it doesn't untap. Startle! Ah! One and a blue for an instant. Target creature gets minus two, minus zero until end of turn. Create a two, two black zombie creature token with decayed and draw a card. All right. Wait, this isn't blue. Crossroads Candle Guide. Four mana for a three, four scarecrow. ETB, exile up to one target card from a graveyard, and for two mana, add one mana of any color. So it could generate blue, so I guess we're giving it a pass. A second Nebelgast Intruder. So that's three uncommons so far. Interesting that it's the second that's a duplicate. Consider this card. It's a single blue for an instant. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Draw a card. All right. Hey, component collector. I always like it when we spike the card that <laughs> I use at the top of the show. It's like in the movie where they say the name of the movie 
It's like some sort of crack a pack. Component collector two and a blue for a one four homunculus. If it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as it enters the battlefield. Whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you may tap or untap target non land permanent. Firmament Sage, three and a blue for a two three human wizard. It becomes day, and whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, draw a card. Another Storm Rider Spirit, another Startle. Ooh, relevant and standard, we've got Fading Hope. Single blue mana, instant return target creature to its owner's hand. If its mana value is three or less, scry one. Revenge of the Drowned, three and a blue for an instant. Target creature's owner puts it on the top or bottom of their library. You create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with Decayed. Lardar Zombie, Lardar, except it's not spelled like that. It's spelled Larder, so I don't know what I'm doing. But that's true a lot of the time. Single blue mana for a 1-3 zombie with defender. Tap three untapped creatures you control. Look at the top card of your library. You may put it into your graveyard. Sure, why not? Scob Wrangler. You pro scob or anti scob. One and a blue for a 2-1 human wizard. Tap three untapped creatures you control. Tap target creature. <laughs> After Uda's hat boutique in Selhof was destroyed by werewolves, she relocated outside of town and took up a new type of sewing. Do you think we are in any way responsible for the fact that someone is referenced in flavor text as having a hat boutique? I hope so too. Falcon Abomination, two and a blue for a 2-2 zombie bird. With flying, when Falcon Abomination enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with decayed. Flip the switch, two and a blue for an instant counter target spell unless its controller pays four and then create a 2-2 zombie with decayed. Vivisection. Three and a blue for a sorcery. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature. Draw three cards. Sure, why not? Ominous Roost. The birds. Two and a blue for an enchantment. When Ominous Roost and Ominous? When Ominous Roost enters the battlefield. St <clears throat> when Ominous Roost enters the battlefield, or whenever you cast a spell from your graveyard, create a 1-1 blue bird creature token with flying, and this creature can block only creatures with flying st Nice. Secrets of the Key. Single blue for an instant, investigate, and if it was cast from a graveyard, investigate twice with flashback for three and a blue. Otherworldly Gaze. Uh, single blue for an instant. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest back on top of your library in any order and flashback for one and a blue. Phantom Carriage. Ghost Horse Power Rankings. Four blue blue for a 4-4 four, four Flying Spirit. When it enters the battlefield, you can search your library for a card with flashback or disturb it and put it directly into your graveyard. Then shuffle. Another Geist Wave. We have an Unblinking Observer. One and a blue for a 2-1 Homunculus. Tap to add blue. Spend this man only to pay a disturb cost or cast an instant or sorcery spell. Sure. Ooh, you got green in my blue. It's Root Coil Creeper. Green blue for a 2-2 Plant Horror. Tap to add one mana of any color. Tap to add two mana of any color, but spend that only to cast spells from your graveyard. And for green and blue and tap and exile root creeper return target card with flashback you own from exile to your hand another revenge of the drowned another locked in the cemetery a drown yard amalgam four and blue for a three six zombie horror when it enters the battlefield target player mills three cards and for two and a blue drown yard amalgam can't be blocked this turn another ominous roost in the makings of a pretty entertaining roost deck here another crossroads candle guide Ooh, and we're up to the rare. We have Memory Deluge. Two blue blue for an instant. Look at the top X cards of your library, where X is the amount of mana spent to cast this spell. Put two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And it flashes back for five blue blue. And I did not spike the second rare. I have one of the double face card placeholders and a card on popular magic formats like standard booster draft and commander so end result one rare and 11 uncommons so not bad it's it's about a third uncommons at least this one was and that's honestly better than i was expecting cuz this is about this is a little more than two booster packs because it's 35 cards, and so I was expecting 
I was expecting six. I was expecting two booster packs worth of uncommons. But hey, not bad. And two copies of Ominous Roost. So you you could build yourself a pretty fun kitchen table deck out of this, I, th I think. Not, not bad. So this isn't draftable, so I'm not going to bother getting into first picks or whatever. But I paid about $10 Canadian for this. Uh, actually, I said Walmart. It's actually London Drugs, which is a, like a small Canadian Walmart, <laughs> essentially, for those outside of Canada. These people tend to be confused by the name, which is justifiable. Anyway, the pack came out to be worth about, like, eight something, and most of that is two cards, which is the Memory Deluge and the Consider, and everything else is about a dollar. So, you know, I lucked out on Memory Deluge being, being worth so much, but I otherwise wouldn't say I made my money back on it. You're just getting into magic and you want to build a, a kitchen table deck and you want some blue cards? I don't know, you could do worse. You could do a lot better, but you could do worse. <laughs> But I mean, I suppose that's sort of our whole moniker here at LR or MTG. You could do worse, couldn't you? Probably. That's going to do it for the crack -a pack for today. A reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Check out our store. Check out our Discord. Send us a pack at the address on your screen if you feel so inclined. But until next time, thanks to James for hanging out and helping, for Matt for doing the edit, and to you for watching. So thanks everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.